Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to reinstate a disabled page. If your page is disabled because of poor feedback score, just like what you're seeing here, what I'm being told here is your business can no longer advertise across meta technologies. Feedback received from your customers indicates your advertising doesn't comply with our misleading claims policy. Your page will no longer be able to advertise on our ad platform and any ongoing ad campaigns have been canceled. View more about how customer feedback impacts your ability to run ads. You may request a review of our decision. You have three reviews remaining. Now, what you need to look at is this. So what you need to do is to understand exactly what caused the problem. Because if you don't understand exactly how, how, what caused the problem, you will not be able to solve it. So first of all, we have to go to the misleading claims policy. Now, when we go to this policy, they are talking of unrealistic outcomes, misleading claims or unrealistic outcomes. What they are saying is that ads must not contain promises um, or suggestions of unrealistic outcomes as specified below for health, weight loss, or, or, or economic opportunity. Then, when you go down, you read all these, it talks about all of what that policy entails. This includes, but it's not limited to the following, claims of unrealistic results within specific time frames, promoting exaggerated or deceptive claims related to pursuing legal action, claims of cures for incurable diseases, promoting claims to change or suppress someone's sexual orientation, or to suppress someone's gender identity so you need to take time and read all these understand exactly what you violated i will show you how to resolve the problem so stay tuned i will show you exactly how to solve it but i want us to study and unravel the problem to understand it in detail before we take any action now you can also come here and check they are saying we should view more about how feedback score affects our page it says how page feedbacks and pages experience impact your ad and comments performance. And you can come here to read a lot about this article to understand more about that. Okay. Now, um, if you come back here, you will see this page advertising is disabled. The feedback score is 0 0.8. And in fact, we have um, the feedback score from um, 0 to 5. If you are above half, you are okay. But once you fall below uh, half of um, five or below uh, 2.5, in fact, you are in trouble. And especially if you are below two, your page will be disabled. So as you can see here, this page, the feedback score is 0 0.8. Now, when you scroll down, these are what they measure in order to give you a feedback score. They look at your product quality. They look at the order accuracy, the shipping, the refunds or exchange, exchanges, communication, and all that. Now, this particular page, for example, the main problem has been that the customers are saying that the product quality is below their expectation, which is um, about 70%. Now, um, if you take time, I have analyzed everything in detail. Look at the ad campaigns that were run. And then this is the website. What exactly do we do? We advertise. We are advertising a product about how to clean your, what do you call it? It's, it's, an, it's an ear cleaner that you can, it, you can be using a device where you look into the camera and use the device to clean your ear in a way that you can see exactly where there is dirt to clean. Because sometimes when we just use an ear cleaner, we put into our ear, sometimes you just clean. You don't even know which part of your ear there is a problem. But with this particular device, while the device is in your hand and you are checking, you can use the ear cleaner at the same time. Um, the device, you can use the device into your ear and be monitoring it in the camera so that you can know exactly where there are problems and where there is debt for you to clean. 
in that way you are able to do it in a better way if not some people blindly use ear cleaners to uh, damage their ears without knowing because what happens is they just use the ear cleaner to clean clean anytime it's itching you just use it put it inside and then turn it around and sometimes it can be damaging some sensitive parts of your uh, ear so this ear cleaner is helping you to do it in a more gentle way and while being able to know which part you need to clean and which part you are not supposed to touch so they're saying that the customers are giving the feedback that, is that doesn't meet their expectation i'm sure this is a mistake because what we are doing if you look if you take time to look at it and anyone who buys the device it works so i don't know why they would say the product is below their expectation okay so when you look at the shipping there has there has not been any you know feedback on that it means that they didn't they didn't have much problem with shipping refund or communication the problem was on the product quality so and i believe that this is is wrong my page or this page is wrongly restricted actually i'm doing it on behalf of a client who has this problem now when you click on request review and what i advise you is you take time to follow the procedure very well you see when i click on request review you can see the feedback score for this page is 0 0.87 all that now the page has three of three reviews requests remaining. It means that we have three opportunities to request for review for this page. Request a review if you believe that your page was incorrectly penalized. Or if you have experienced a business disruption, including those related to coronavirus, corona COVID-19 pandemic. Disruptions related to COVID-19 require documents proof of the disruption and should be referenced as COVID-19 disruption in the additional information area of this form. So this has to do with if you delay in shipping in the shipment, if you delay in in delivering the product, that one you can uh, and in and, and if it is as a result whatever caused the delay in the shipment, you can provide that reason. Then if you go below, you see select the reason why you are requesting a review for this page. You have my page is not e-commerce example dating service or digital media. I had a temporary business disruption, for example, like COVID nineteen or any other. Uh, um, disaster i fixed a business issue manufacturing or material changes so that is if you had a, an issue in relation to that then my fee page feedback score doesn't accurately represent my customer experience so we can choose one of them so we have to select one of the reasons we have to select one of the reasons so after selecting one of them they will say, please submit any documentation that support the potential impact to your feedback score due to extenuating circumstances. This may include scenarios such as suspected malicious behavior from sabotage. So we are also supposed to click here after submitting this one. I understand that this page will have two of three review requests remaining. Meta reserves the right to limit the number of times you can request a review so i've selected the reason then what i will say is if you go through all the uh the options available and you know clearly and and, and then accurately you can just clearly pinpoint that no all the policies they are talking about or all the other options you don't you didn't violate them and you are sure that your uh, your page feedback score doesn't represent your customer experience. You choose that, and then you write a description. You write a letter, and let me show you the sample letter I have written. Um. Okay, I may not have actually drag and dropped it here, but let me read just some sample of it. I said, "Dear Facebook representative." It's a sample letter I wrote. I said, my page feedback score doesn't accurately represent my customer experience. And I said, dear Facebook representative, my page, and I've described in detail what my page talks about. And then I've gone around to say that our product functions exactly the way it is described on our website. And we have been voted number one online health and lifestyle store by health and well-being adv advocates all across Australia. Out of 227 customer service reviews on our website, we have 4.9 out of a five-star rating. 
which indicates majority of them are satisfied with our product as indicated in the image below. You can also check this on our website below to ascertain what I'm saying. This certainly cannot be fake and it is a true representation of our customer service experience and the quality of our product. And definitely it meets our customers' expectations. And I believe my page has been wrongly disabled and should be reinstated. I expect to hear a favorable response from you. Then I've indicated a link to the page, the link to the website customer service reviews page. And then these are, uh, this is a screenshot of 227 customer service review. And we have been rated 4.9 out of 5. 4.9 out of 5 um, star rating. And this cannot be fake. It is really real. So I'm sure that on the Facebook, it is a mistake that this page has been disabled. It doesn't make sense. So you take time and write and describe in detail whatever your problem is. And attach screenshot and evidences like website. And then they can see exactly how your website looks like. So I've attached it. So, um, okay. So I'm now submitting. We just go back. So I've submitted. I'm submitting like that. It says review unavailable. No admin permission to appeal. Now, when you go to the page, go to the people in the business manager settings, you see that these ones were turned off. So I had to turn them on and save it. So because they were turned off, I didn't have, I was having partial access. Now I have full access to appeal. I'm sure that is the reason why I couldn't submit the appeal. So let's go back and check. Okay, so this is it. So here, if I try to appeal, I'm sure it will now go. So let me just submit it. Let's see something. Okay, so review in progress your review is in progress please check back for your decision yeah so um appeal is submitted and it's in review and i expect within 48 hours that they will get back to me and then i uh, will have an information as to whether this page uh, as restriction will be revoked and i am sure if you take time to follow all these uh, procedures you are going to get your page reinstated. Thank you so much for watching. If you follow this procedure and you are not able to get your page re uh, reinstated, contact me and I'll be able to help you. Um, you can follow the WhatsApp link in the description. You can follow the website link to, to our website. Um, if you want a faster response, check the WhatsApp link. You can also check the website to see other products and other offers that we have. You can book for a Zoom meeting too on our website or by WhatsApp partners. If you, you really want to get your issues resolved, we will help you. We have helped thousands of people. And if you check on the screen, you can see several other people that we've helped within the last two years. And they have all been reinstated and they are doing very well today. So if you follow the procedures, we, we will help you. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos like this so that you will be able to um, continue your advertising. Bye-bye and see you in the next video. Thank you.